Let's go behind the scenes with Mark and Bart. Okay, ready? Yeah. Hey, Mark. Hey, Bart. How, How are, are you? you? I'm good. How are you? <laughs> Doing well, thanks. Good. You know, Mark, I've uh, been down here and done all these shows with you, and I've walked past these a million times, but I've never asked you what they are exactly, like arcade games? It's a type of an arcade game for sure. Uh, more specifically, they're called Trade Stimulators. Trade Stimulators. Yes, it's an odd name, I know. They would be typically found at a bar or a drinking establishment in the early 1900s. So games like this, so this is probably what, Vegas? Mainly Vegas? <laughs> the thought was that you would sit there longer and thus buy more drinks. Yeah, I, I don't need these to do that. I see this says one penny. These cost a penny to play? One penny is all it costs. With, wow. with the hope that you would keep putting in your pennies. It says here a penny was worth 36 cents in 1900. I don't feel so bad spending all that money at the mall playing Pac-Man. <laughs> very, very cool. So these things still work. Amazingly, they all still work pretty well. Well, that's awesome. You mind showing us? I would love to show you. This one's called the P.O. Miniature Baseball World Champion Game. It's really hard. You want to try it? Sure, I'll try it. Put the penny in. So it's a matter of Climbing the mountain, but just enough. There, that's pretty good. That's a single. Good job. Oh. And as you see, the ball fell into the slot that says first base. One more. And there's the third out. Oh, man. So what's all that up top? The dials yeah. represent runs for player number one. If there's a second player, that's runs for him. And this keeps track of the innings. They want you to sit there and keep playing through nine <laughs> innings. Which I don't know how many people actually did that. It depends how thirsty you were, I guess. <laughs> In the 50s, pinball machines would actually have runners circling the bases, which might be something good for a later episode. Awesome. Then there's this middle one here. It says the Atlas One Cent Baseball. Now let's see what this one does. We're gonna insert the penny right here. This time, with each shot requires a penny, so you get three balls for a penny on the first one. This one's a little more expensive to play. That was a triple. Probably went a little fast. You blink and you say, where's my money? Exactly. There's a home run. Hey, touch them all, Mark. <laughs> so that little abacus thing down there is cool. Yeah, super cool. There's three rows. The first one tells you which runner's on base, and then the second one just simply states which inning it is. And then the last one, you keep track of the runs that you've scored. So beautiful, and it's like, if machines could talk, right? Oh, look, this guy. I think this left fielder has a story or two. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Hey, Mr. Carter. Wonder if anyone's gonna get that one. I love what they call this one, the play ball amusement machine. This one's a beauty. The catcher, you can see he's wearing the reeded shin guard and he's not in a full squat. He's kind of in a three quarter squat, which is what they did back then. So this is the easiest of the three to play. And I'll demonstrate how that's done. You just drop the penny in there and then you just tap it. Let's see what happens. That was a hit. Let's see what that does. That's an out. <laughs> now it's functioning as it was meant to function. Oh, there. I cheated and got a hit. I guess that's not cheating. I, if you were in the bar, that's certainly what you would do. I wonder what kind of music they played in bars in 1900. Anybody that knew has probably kicked the bucket by now. Yeah, probably just oldies, you know, like yeah. Rick Astley. God forbid, I hope not. <laughs> so what's that little key there for? For the proprietor or the bar owner to get his money at the end of the day. Or for the customer to take his money. Oh look, a key. Next round's on me. Such great detail and such beautiful patina. Yes, I said that. So these are so cool, Mark. Thanks so much for showing us. It's my pleasure. They're just as fun to look at as they are to play. Like me. <laughs> Never gonna give you up. <laughs>